Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to another live stream. I'm back. So I was actually for the past a couple, past couple of days, I have been focusing on school and uh, those stuff, but we're back. Next week, I will be live streaming more frequently because um, we will have a bit of a break, just one week. But yeah, welcome, welcome everyone. Oh, we don't actually have much, but hey, I am going to transport anyway, so might as well just live stream it and maybe, you know, let you know that I'm I'm here. Avax Sachin. Here, fun. Welcome, welcome. Wild chick as well. We got glitch. Hello to you guys. Uh, let's start a giveaway. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we're back. We're back. We're back. Actually. Alright, let everyone know that I'm back. Um, I will be streaming, I believe, every day. For the next... Next two weeks or so. <clears throat> so that's exciting. Hello, hello. Uh, quick update, I have 160 million now. 160 mil and that's after I have placed Actually a lot of buy orders just a couple of hours ago. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I or last night, but I forgot so uh, There will be more transports today that is going to be um, Not full not full 
But um, another update, I think well, I will, I will sort of um, repeat this all throughout the stream for probably the next two weeks. Looking at the prices right now, looking at the prices of the resource refining, like usage fees, everything has gone up, like I predicted, especially in that, right? So in that, it has gone up to 50, 40, 35. So everyone who refined their bars in that, just wait for a couple of days the prices will go back up in terms of like the resource um, res refined resources the prices will go slowly go back up because of the higher usage fee so take advantage of that spike that'd be uh, that'd be really fun especially for me uh, the demand will also go up I think a lot of players who are using those refined materials buying directly from the marketplace will sort of um, take advantage of it as well sort of like hoard several thousands of those bars before they actually go up <clears throat> uh, Thiago hello is there any web tool to check market values there is it's called Albion Online 2D but I don't actually trust it Albion Online 2D though, albiononline2d.com Again, I don't really trust it because the prices can be really delayed. Delayed meaning like 16 hours ago. And for me, at least in the method that I'm using, I can't afford to use that price. That was 16 hours delayed. I want it to be right here right now. I'm doing pretty good there, fine. They're pretty good. Does tier two refining silver method still works? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that method for new players, man, because they literally pay 0% usage fee because it's just tier two. And not a lot of players, actually, not a lot of players in the game thinks about that because. All they're thinking is like, alright, tier 2, I'm refining tier 2, why would I refine tier 2? Oh, because the raw resource is usually... The raw resource in terms of tier 2 is usually... Uh, has higher price compared to the refined resources at tier 2. So let's say, let's take uh, blocks. So the raw resource is called the limestone. The refined resource is called limestone blocks. Most of the time, the raw resource, the limestone, is um, as high as a higher price. So limestone blocks are actually cheaper per piece, usually compared to the limestone. So. In, a new player would say, so why would I refine if I am actually going to lose silver? But that's not actually the case because of the resource return rate. <clears throat> that's one of the important things that my calculator actually um, incorporates. And that's how you can make a lot of silver. Alright, we're getting more sponsors here. What's up? What's up? Make sure to use your sponsor command. Uh, Glitch, how's the farming going, dude? Anthony, hello. They haven't fixed the calculator for two years. <laughs> I mean, the calculator has helped me. They have a version of their calculator, which is, in my opinion, is bare bones. You don't really get much information from it but there is enough information for you to say oh, okay so this is what it needs it doesn't actually it does not actually incorporate the like the resource return rate if it does it doesn't do it well Hey, uh, 
Yeah, no problem, Sachin. And I'm going to upload a new video in a couple of days. I think I'll publish that on Friday, I think. <clears throat> yeah, Friday, probably. Alright, Tudor, appreciate it, buddy. Siege, hello, hello, Zach as well. Uh, Siege, is Zach's your alt? But yeah, welcome everyone, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm excited for the next two videos that I'm going to upload. The one that I'm going to upload on Friday, my sponsors already know about that. Um, I actually gave you guys a lot of time to take advantage of that before I, before I actually upload it. Because last time, when I uploaded a video like pertaining to the black market, the price dropped like half. So I want you guys to take advantage of that. You know, my sponsors already know what the method is. I want you to take advantage of that before I upload the video on Friday. Dupsy, hello, hello. <clears throat> yeah, unlock all those notes, bro. Once again, Dupsy, what's up, what's up? Glad seeing you. I'm glad to see you in the in the ZVZ content earlier. How do I activate my sponsor for myself? How do I activate my sponsor for myself? What do you mean, uh, Siege? How do you activate? Yeah, the, just use a sponsor command or sponsor Siege. Yeah, sponsor Siege or sponsor. Actually, end sponsor. I actually forgot to do something. I actually forgot to... I forgot to add the sponsor command for sponsor sound for um, Jed. I'll do that probably um, after my exam. It's exam week this week for me. That's why I haven't seen any any live streams for the past, I don't know, three, four days? Oh, you died early. I should have survived that ZVZ. It was really fun. It was really fun. Every in we, we won, we, we basically won every engage in that ZVZ uh, content battle. And we got the objectives done too, all of it. Plus, my OC didn't break. OC didn't break any of my uh, my items, so uh, like that. I would have, I would have made a lot of silver in terms of like loot if I had a bag. I usually don't bring bags in ZVZs, but I think, I think I'll start bringing one now. Because of my better, because of uh, my ping is a lot better now compared to when I was in the Philippines. I actually get to loot now. Ah, oh, you have two accounts. I didn't know that. Uh, Siege, I think. All right, let me check. Let me check that though. All right, let me check it though. Let me check what we're missing here from Siege. So you're asking what... Okay. One sec, one sec. Alright, it should be... Currency. Let's go. There should be a better way. Okay, it should be the Siege J. 
All right, Siege, it should be Siege J, the one with over 50 hours of watch time. Over 50 hours of watch time, you should be able to use the sponsor Siege uh, command over there. What's the best weapon for PvP? I have no idea. I enjoy curse staffs though. I have no idea when it comes to like PvP 1v1 um, like corrupted dungeons. Not the best person to ask. But I really love the curse staff. The one hand curse staff. Um What? Uh, so yeah, no Alp. Why would you ask someone to give you a mammoth? <laughs> That's 100 mil, dude. You can work for it though. You can definitely work for it. Shouldn't take you long to actually get a mammoth if you put in the effort that I do. Daniel, hello. Uh, do you think it's worth to go sell in Caroleon crafts from cities? Yeah, absolutely. It's absolutely worth it. The risk is high, but the reward is high too. That's why I love the black market, dude. Like everything is, or the black market and the Caroleon market. Everything in Caroleon is um, higher price. I'm blanking out on that term that means higher price. I'm blanking out, dude. Expensive. Okay. So everything in everything in Caroleon and Black Market is expensive. I mean most of it. Of course, tools, bags, and um tools. Well bags are more expensive there too. Tools food is that is something that is cheaper in in Caroleon, but basically everything else, or at least most of it, is just more expensive. Where am I from? I'm from the Philippines. But currently living in Canada. What is it again for my alt sponsor command? Uh, okay, so I think... Siege, is your... Are your... Are both of your sponsor commands like... Ruby? I'll actually be surprised if both of your sponsors are Ruby. Uh, let me see. Siege. Oh, can it work that way? Siege. Siege is Opal. Siege is... The Siege without J is Opal. The Siege with J is Ruby, so... Yeah. So Siege J should have the... The custom sponsor siege command. What is your what's your tough? Oh, I thought. Oh my god. What's your thought about the weapon bloodletter? Oh, bloodletter is actually really good in ZVZs. Um, it's a good escape weapon too. It's a good burst weapon too. It depends what like what's your uh, goal with the blood letter. Okay, so the giveaway is on. I think there's only one. There's actually only one entry right now. <laughs> there's only one entry for the giveaway. So right now, oh, before I forget Right now, all of the resource refining or right, resource refining plots in all of the cities, they have high usage fees. So I highly suggest you guys uh, join my Discord and uh, request an access to these islands. So we're opening up GA, GA refining islands. So all of these GA islands are actually the ones that I'm using and I am going to use 
um, moving forward, especially now that the usage fees on all refining plots in all of the cities are actually really high. So start using this moving forward and I highly suggest you guys um, use it as well. You can gain access to this for free, absolutely free of charge. <clears throat> All you have to do is uh, join our Discord giveaway, or join our Discord, request an access, make sure to have the Albion role to actually know or to actually see the request text chat. Because if you don't have the Albion role, you won't be able to see that. Billy Mon, hello, how are you doing, buddy? Uh, A1, I already read yours, buddy. I'm from the Philippines. How to enter the giveaway? Uh, type an exclamation point how to, no spaces. Exclamation point how to, no spaces, and the bot should tell you how to join the giveaway. Can we get resources uh, while we're finding an island? Yes! Well, it depends, Brabin. So you see here, uh, I'm in Thet. I'm in Thet, and the island that I'm on was built on Thet. So I do get that resource to turn it for bars only. It is lower, but since the usage fee in this plot is just 10% for regular users, it means you are going to save a lot because if you don't have a if you're not an associate on any of the plots in Thet, you're paying 50% usage fee. Which is insane, man. It's basically a highway robbery. But if you do request access to these plots, uh, you're go only going to pay 10%. It does give you lower resource to turn rate, but it's, it's going to be a lot cheaper here. I'm in second period now in school. Make sure to not get uh, not get caught, dude. Make sure to not get caught. But I appreciate you being here on the live stream, even your even though you're in school. <clears throat> so this is actually. This is me trying to um, trying to feel what it's like to have trying to feel what it's like to have a plot in the city. So this is basically the base of that operation, and hopefully you guys support what we are trying to do here. So request your access to the guild islands and all that. And maybe eventually we'll buy a plot because I did talk to a couple of my guildmates. Uh, we had a plan uh, several several months back of actually buying a plot in the city. And if this goes well, I think we'll uh, we'll move forward with that plan. And of course, you all get associates on my plot if ever. Ooh, school ends on Friday? Me too, dude. We'll have a one week break. We'll have one week break um, on Friday too. So, yeah, that's exciting. Smash that like button, by the way, boys. Smash that like button. If you guys don't know, once we reach 50 likes, we do pick one more winner. And I'll probably stream a bit shorter today. We'll see. We'll see how it goes because I do have an exam tomorrow. I still have to review for that. Shouldn't be that difficult though, but I will still need to review just in case. Once again, if you want to know how to join the giveaway, exclamation point how to. I'm actually saving a lot. Um, I'm actually 
thrilled that all of the plots in the city, refining plots, have high resource or high usage fee right now because I get to flex this this business of ours. Of course, <clears throat> of course, this does not replace the partnership that we have for. Um, this does not replace the partnership that we have with Universal Markets and Royal City Associates. You still want to be an associate on their plots because this is going to be very limited, man. Very limited. Even if we actually fill this up with food, the crafting capacity of a tier 6 plot is actually not that high. That even I, only half, half of the half of a half of a mammoth, has already bring it down to ninety four percent. I'm not even full. But it's this definitely is going to be a good savings for you guys. Once again, Discord in the link link in the description, or you can type an exclamation point Discord, join there, request to become an associate, or no, actually request an access to these islands via Discord. Uh, you do buy order, refine, and sell order? Yes, that's exactly what I do, Bilbo. Religion class is tough? Yeah, it can be tough. Um, their requirements are, you know, out of this world, at least back when I was uh, studying. Doug Han, hello buddy, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'll be advertising this all throughout the week. I want you guys to save when you are refining. Um, do what I do. I'm smart with my silver. And I actually know where to refine. And I'm su I do suggest you guys refine here as well. We pretty much covered everything, all of the islands or all of the cities, and this is this is exclusively for refining though, only refining for now. I will need to I will need to still um, do some calculations when it comes to crafting. But I do have a video coming up for that, so I won't give that away just yet. Just know that I'm working on pretty much all the refining, crafting, and all of that. I'm trying to make calculators for those. And I want you guys, those who have access to the calculators, I want you guys to not wait for my money-making method. Because it's literally what I, do, I use. I use the calculator to know what is going to be profitable and then create a video around that. But if you think about it, if you have if you already have access to the calculator, that means you yourself you can create your own money making method without waiting for my guides, without waiting for my videos. So in a way you'll be independent but dependent still in the calculator. I'm doing pretty good, Doug Han. How are you, buddy? Welcome, welcome to the stream, everyone. If you're new here... Um, if you're new here, I basically... try to make silver during the stream using the same money-making method. And what I want you to take away from this is that you don't really need a lot of money-making methods in your arsenal because right now I only I basically only have two in a way like resource refining tier 4 crafting tier 4 armor set crafting and the bag that's that's all that's all I have those are the three that I have. <clears throat> and that's all I need. 
Oh, this is actually what I I dislike when it comes to like having sell orders or having buy orders active. You don't actually take it all every time you buy, every time someone buys or sells you something, it will stop. It's not as fluid as uh Anyways, enough complaining. Hopefully in this in this live stream I get to show you Thank you so much uh, Baron for subscribing. Who else? We got Probin as well, Sachin, Klon. Thank you so much for subscribing, boys. I'll get to your comments as soon as I can, all right? If I don't read your comment or if I don't respond to your comment, uh, that maybe that means I'm I haven't read it yet. If you feel like I've missed your comment, type it in again. But I, the only thing that I um, I ask is you don't spam. I think this could be a good thing. All right, let's see. Oh, so it's, uh, wait, wait. I sold stones in class for a lot of profit, and it sold really fast, but I was so nervous because there were three hostels, hostel icons in the map. Oh, so you sold it in Carolion, damn. Yeah, blocks is the way to go, dude. In my opinion, blocks is the way to go. Hmm, not a lot, not a lot. But I'll take this opportunity to transport some of my refined materials. Kirumi, buddy! How are you doing? Yeah, I think I'll take this opportunity to actually transport some of the things that I've refined. Why is your collect so fast? Uh, there is a collect all at the bottom. Make sure to utilize that. I only need 14 of these. And... Yo! Have you actually seen this? Twenty-six million more. Again, if you have any money making questions, money making guide questions, let me know. I'm so thankful for your work. It has helped me a lot to understand the basics of Albion economics. I'm close to my mammoth. Let's go. Only 30 mil left. Hey, I'm glad that I'm able to help you, man. I'm glad that I'm able to help you. The reason why I want to share these methods to a lot of players is that I've seen countless comments on on like the Al Albion Facebook page that like it's so difficult to get premium every month. It's so difficult to you know get get silver in this game. The truth is, it's not. It really is not. It's not difficult at all. All I'm doing here is tier 3 and tier 4 resource refining. That's basically it. A lot of players in the game think that you need high specs. The only way for you to earn silver is through high specs, focus, and using food. And like going to the black zone. Going to the middle of the black zone. Going to Avalonia Roads. They think you need a lot of things to make a ton of silver in this game. Not really the case. Not really the case. This is what I'm trying to prove in this um, in these live streams and by me showing the method to you guys over and over again and by answering your questions, hopefully you get to realize that tier 3, tier 4 resource refining 
is the holy grail of uh, money making in this in this game, in my opinion. It's tier three and tier four re re refined resources is being ignored like crazy, which I don't understand. But because I do understand how it works, I'm able to take advantage of that and make a lot of silver. Like a lot of silver. Again, I have 160 mil right now. I just invested like 30 mil into this method again. Probably for the sixth, seventh time this month. Probably. And I haven't actually transported a lot of the refined resources that I've, I've uh, re refined. So hopefully by by the end of the month, I'll be able to transport all of them to Carleon and uh, show you how much I made. Is it slow for you, Doopsy? I, I think they updated that. It used to be really slow too. For me. Is associate access request still operational? Um, yes. All you have to do is join the Discord. I think you are a part of the Discord. Make sure to tag Zcrix when you're when you're trying to um, get access to the islands that I'm using for refining right now. 10% usage fee. I think that will be fixed. I'm not entirely sure what Zcrix is going to do, but hopefully he maintains it at uh, 10%. Yeah, it's still active. You can join that anytime. Give him some time though. Because Zcrix is the only person that has access to those islands, meaning he's the only one who can actually give you access. And I believe it's exam week for him too, so give it some time. I do believe she, he is giving, he gives access within 24 hours. So yeah, it's 24 hours. Uh, Bilbo, thank you so much for being an Opal stoner. Do me a favor and send me your in-game name, YouTube name, and your email address through Discord, Discord DM. And I'll give you access to the calculator as soon as the live stream ends. But thank you so much for supporting Burnstone TV Gaming, buddy. Uh, sorry I didn't understand the method because it came here early, but... So Thiago, I highly suggest you go to the description. Where am I going? <laughs> uh, Go to the description, it should say the best money making method in the description below. Watch that video because that video will explain it a lot better than I can right now. Uh, you buy everything that's, uh, that is cheapest in transport and refining. Christian, that basically summarizes what I do. Um, I go around the city, again, just watch the video in the description below titled best money making method. Um, but basically, I go all around the cities using the travel planner with no equipment on and try to figure out where do I buy the cheapest resources, raw resources, I buy there, I refine in a specific city where there is high resource return rate, and sell to sell the resource refined the refined resources to where it is the most expensive that's basically it and that concept in itself i believe is the one that all of the money making guides out there revolves around buy low refine or craft in the city where there is low usage fee and high resource return rate and sell where it is the most expensive. In this case, you do need to do a lot of transporting and traveling. And if that's not for you, I don't blame you. Some, a lot of players find this method really boring. And I thank those players every day because 
by them not doing the method, the supply for these re resources are maintained and they're maintained at a low level. So low supply, same demand will go, will go to like higher prices, will result in higher prices. So. Well, once again, Bilbo, thank you so much for supporting Burnstone TV Gaming. How many time? How many time take? To, um, I'm assuming you're talking about Christian. I'm assuming you're asking about how long your buy orders will be filled. For me, it usually takes like 24 hours. But again, I invest close to 20, 30 million of buy orders all around the city. And it usually takes me around 24 hours to complete like 90% of all of them. But if you're only going to invest like, let's say 100k, that should be, uh, that should be filled quite easily, quite fast. I transferred my refined resources to Averroads. Sometimes it only takes 5 to 10 minutes to go to that. Yep, yeah, that is a valid method too. Use the Avalonian roads. If you if you find an Ava road that sort of connects two cities, use that. Just be careful because if you have if you found that route, other players might have found it as well and might uh, take advantage of it and uh, scout the entrances and exits. But yeah, that's definitely a valid. Um, way of transporting it's just riskier high risk high reward so yosh buddy hello welcome to the stream I haven't seen you in a while buddy how are you I haven't seen a lot of giveaway commands When transporting becomes boring to me, I just do solo dungeons and factions were in, faction were in the yellow zone and then I will be motivated to make the transport again. That's true. Like if you're not used to transporting for hours on end, make sure to take a break because it can get um, <laughs> the term that we use is therapeutic. It can get therapeutic when you're transporting for hours on end. But I did transport for like 7-8 hours. I think seven or eight hours. Last time we did that marathon, all I did was transport. It did get boring for a bit, but again, I'm, I'm, I'm used to it. I'm used to it and I enjoy refining. I enjoy, you know, having the possibility of getting more silver. And I know I'm getting a lot of silver in this. I know. Oh, you got sick because of the vaccine. Hopefully you're feeling well. I sell all... Ah, 530,000. That's not bad, dude. It's not bad. Yeah, keep on it, man. Keep on it. Kirumi. Keep at it, buddy. Uh, oh, by the way, when you're going to refine in islands, make sure to refine your tier twos in. Make sure to refine your tier twos in the city because. Zero usage fees in cities for tier 2 and you do get the full 38% uh, or 36.7% in terms of um, return rate. Let me show you. So if you are going to refine tier 2, you should always do it in cities because you basically pay nothing. And you do get that 36.7% max resource return rate for refining. Don't do it on islands. In islands, it will also be free, but you won't get that max resource return rate.
All right, we'll pick the first winner in 10 minutes. There's only a handful of entries, actually. There's only a handful of entries here. No max tickets for the rest of the... For the rest of the giveaways. Zero max tickets. Why do I have access to associates here? Uh, okay. Okay. I guess a lot of people are using it. Only 4% crafting capacity. Oh, it's only 124 pieces? Damn! Good stuff. Is there return rates in islands? Yes. As long as you create the island within the city. Okay, so let me explain this real quick. So if you open the minimap, right? Click the drop down arrow in the top right corner of the screen. You will see the refining bonuses and crafting bonuses of the city. So in Mortlock, these are all um, these are all the bonuses, right? If you create your island, meaning you go to the island merchant right here and create your island right here, you will have access to all of these bonuses as well, but at a lesser degree. So for example, in Martlock, you get 36.7% resource to turn it in the city. In an island based on Martlock, you will get around 28%. So not as much as the city, but you do control, you have more control over the usage fee and all of that. It's basically owning your own plot, but in an island. Again, take advantage of that offer. You'll have access to all of these GA islands. This is what I've been using for... I don't know, past two weeks or so. So remember that resource return rate, right? 36. Let's see here. 36. This is 28.5. But I'm only paying a significant, significantly less compared to what I would have been. Pay, I would pay. I would have paid in the in the city. I, I did the calculation on this. It is worth it right now to refine on islands. To refine on islands with the current usage fees in the cities. Make sure you have that resource return rate though. Make sure you have that resource return rate when you're refining in an island. The scrap fill daily points? No. Only. PvE, so that means dungeons, killing mobs, gathering, uh, those are the only ones that actually give you the daily points. Bear, hello buddy. You're pretty good, you're pretty good. How are you doing, Bear? We actually had an exam, Bear, um, yesterday. Practical exam on Cisco Packet Tracer. And were you the one who said the CLI of Cisco is basic? I thought about that the entire time I was doing the I was doing the practical test. Yo, Hayes, what up? What up? How are you? is this Hayes or uh, Mr. T? How are you doing? And what games have you been playing lately? And have you heard that Shadowgun War Games will be will shut down in uh, in a couple of months? You're riding a mammoth, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Bunny! Hey, hey, hey. That's what I. That's all I do here. Hey, I mean Bunny. It's it's all it's all I do. <laughs> I'll, all I do in this live stream is uh, ride mammoths and uh, talk to you guys, answer your questions, and maybe help you, help you guys make more silver in Albion Online. The reason why I only do this over and over and over and over again is because 
Well, first off, I'm making a lot of silver, like a lot of silver. But the main reason is the main reason in the of the the main goal of these live streams is to help out new players. I know I'll be I know I'll be answering the same questions over and over and over and over again. But if I can help just a couple of players each live stream, I think that'll be uh, that'll be more than worth it for me. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm excited for the week, next week, one week of break from school. Definitely looking forward to that. Uh, looking forward to playing more games. Uploading more videos, giving away more silver. <laughs> Packet Tracer. Yeah, I started using Packet Tracer only um, starting January. Not my, it's not my favorite subject at all, networking. It's maybe because of the teachers or the professors, but not really, um, doesn't pick my int doesn't pick my interest. Uh, can you recommend any websites that uses the API? It's Albion Online 2D. Albion Online 2D uses the API. The API that you're talking about is like the market prices, right? I don't trust it though. Like the frequency of the frequency of update for that API is not it's not really real time. It's a lot better for you to just go to the city where you are going to sell or where you are going to buy. Just trip naked, no mounts, no no everything, and just check the prices manually. I think that would be a lot. That's a lot better than relying on the API. But if it's not. It's not urgent if it's a item that doesn't really change in terms of price as much. Yeah, you can definitely use that. Life after. What is life after? Life after. Is that a mobile game? Open world doomsday survival game. Oh, I think I remember this. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. This game, this gave me nausea. I remember this game. This game gave me nausea for some reason. That was not fun. I mean, the game, I think, is fun. The concept of the game is fun. But it gave me nausea, I don't know why. I'll give it a shot. Life after. I am, I'm looking for, <laughs> I'm looking for a new game on mobile. Because the only game that I've been playing for the past, I want to say past month, has been Albion Online. I mean, Albion Online can drain your hours like crazy. There's so much stuff going on in Albion, especially when you're, um, when you're, when you're at the end game. You can pretty much play the game all day and still have things to do in this game. It's pretty cool. Okay, I think the next stop that we will have is um, to bridge, I don't know. Uh, don't you think Albion is overpopulated with players? Absolutely not. No way this game is uh, overpopulated. The reason I say that is because most of the players stay in the Royal Zone. Most of the players are here in the Royal Continent, which makes sense. A lot of players are in these yellows and blue zones. And look at the... Like, look at the bottom right. Let me see if I can show you. Look at the bottom right. This is the entire Black Zone. This is the entire Royal Continent. And there is still like the roads of Avalon so in terms of space in terms of content in terms of things to do in Albion I don't think I don't think it has maxed out its capacity just yet oh yeah they are definitely going to give uh, SGL more love Absolutely. 
I think they didn't know what they had in SGL because they were so focused on creating the next game like they didn't know what they actually had in that game with that game and all things are pointing to them focusing their effort more on SGL I think and this is just an aspect speculation no basis whatsoever I think they're done making new games for now I think they'll focus their effort on their older games that are generating more money for them. But yeah, I think they are going to uh, step back, probably not do a new game or create a new game in the next couple of years, at least not publish a new game in a couple of years and focus on, uh, focus on their baby. Shadowgun Legends. <clears throat> it just sucks that the developers actually were, I don't want to say stubborn, but they definitely did not listen to the community of Shadowgun War Games. I see, I think the developers think some of some of the developers at, at least the bad developers out there i think they think they know what's best for the game because they created the game most of the time it's not the case because they are very limited they are all they think the same in terms of like what should be the purpose of the game what should be added in the game <clears throat> but if you have a dedicated community that wants only the best for the game, I think you should definitely listen to them. And I think Albion is one of those games that listens to their community very well. They're very engaged. <laughs> I was in IT for the US Navy and the class put me to sleep. Dude. Uh, same here. Spray Blue, hello. One of the things that I do when I'm listening or when I'm in my networking class is play Albion. I'll actually write that down, Bunny. I'll write that down after we leave. I'll go after life game. I'll give it another shot. I did try it on my S9 Plus. And that had oh, sub. I don't know. Can't even get to like 60 FPS for me anymore because I have tortured that phone. Like my S9 Plus is tortured. Is it an official API? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it is. But I'm not entirely sure. Don't copy on that. Obelisk. All right, obelisk, obelisk. All right, I'll keep that in mind. I know you've like said this like five minutes ago, but yeah, obelisk server. Yep, will do. I'll download it actually after the stream. Yeah, I know I'm way behind. Oh, the giveaway, dang. I know I'm behind, way, way behind. But we'll do the giveaway in a, in a bit. We'll do the giveaway once we reach the next city. I just want to read all of your comments, at least the ones that are questions. Albion was so laggy when the mobile uh, mobile version came out. Yeah, it's just a it's just a server thing. If they're hosting this the server in the cloud, which I assume they are, they wouldn't have any issues allocating more. Uh, processing power, more storage, more sessions to the game. It's just a matter of how quick the cloud service provider can respond. And if they're using one of the big ones like AWS, Azure, and what's the other one? If they're using one of those big ones, I'm pretty sure they can respond quickly. But again, it, it depends on their broker too, if they're using a broker. 
How was Miss Burnstone's birthday? It was good. A lot of shrimp. A lot of shrimp work was consumed. Yeah, we did have a good time. Yeah, a lot of shrimp was consumed. <laughs> Yep, yep. Obelisk server for life after. I'll definitely check that out. Hopefully I enjoy it. I I genuinely hope that I enjoy I enjoy life after. My ping is so high, if I use VP VPN will I get banned? I don't think you'll get banned if you use VPN. And I don't think your ping will be better when if you use VPN because it's, it will still reroute it will reroute your your thingy it will still reroute your traffic from your location right just it's, it's just masking the location of where it's coming from but the traffic correct me if I'm wrong bear but the traffic will still come from your location, be rerouted to another location, and mask that. So VPN, I don't think, will have a lot of positive effects when it comes to your ping. Exit lag, though, I've heard it's pretty good. Exit lag. The spacey, the sp PC and Android have the same server? Absolutely. And that's one of the think I I think that's one of one of the best features that Albion has is a cross true cross platform experience. I mean phones are limited in a way in, in terms of like their capability when it comes to like graphics, controls and all of that. But I think it's a viable option for you to just play on a phone and be competitive in a way. But PC will always have the advantage. Always. At least in my opinion. How much are you going to earn in this run? So in this run, since I'm not full, I won't be... Uh, I won't be making much. But on average, I'm making around 25 to 27 million per 16 hours of effort all right 12 hours of those efforts goes to um transporting refining and that's basically it transporting and refining the other four hours is actually transporting everything to carillion but yeah and especially now dude especially now let me actually let me actually show you. Let me flex. Let me flex a bit. Since we have a bit of a bit of uh, players here, let me flex a bit, dude. Look at the percentage profit that I'm getting right now. This is the leather, the seventy-six percent. But look at the other things, dude. Right now, I'm at 83.9 million profit. 83.9 million profit. And that started May 28th. May 28th. I have re I have received and that was that's all that I have received so far right if you saw the bank that I had in set I believe I still have 26 mil estimated value on that so that will definitely be close to I don't know like 35 mil once I sell those but the 83 million is profit just profit not doesn't include like how much silver i have it's just pure profit so take out the usage fee take out the buy orders 
Take out everything. That's how much I made. Yeah, <laughs> it was really fun. I haven't seen that much shrimp <laughs> ever, actually. Uh, my ping is 290 to 300. Dang. That was our ping. That was my ping back when I was in the Philippines. Um, some of our Australian friends swore that exit lag like, works for them. It went from 300 to 240 for them, so that's a huge jump. I mean, exit lag is like $15 per month, $10 per month. So it's basically you paying premium every month. But if it helps you, you know. Yours GeForce Now? Is GeForce Now their cloud service? I'm not sure. Is GeForce Now their cloud service? Google Stadia competitor? Not entirely sure. Yeah, I use VPN all the time at work. There you go. There are two VPNs though. Uh, the mo more common VPN is like masking your masking your location, right? But there's a VPN as well in work where you connect to uh, private network of your uh, the network of your company, which is private. From a remote location. Fitz, hello, hello. Yo, I'm still behind, dude. Yeah, middleman operation. It's not a mask per se. All traffic gets directed to your VPN provider. Some of the VPN can create a better experience because they have used efficient data compression. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't actually know that. What mount has the best? Ma what mount has the best max load except for a mammoth? It's the Elite Winter Bear. So Elite Winter Bear is the next mount in terms of like carrying capacity next to the mammoth. <laughs> it's a very big gap, but it's the next to the mammoth. What are you finding? What are you finding or crafting? I'm basically finding tier three and tier four. I know it's very unpopular, well, not very unpopular, but in a way, it's an open secret. Because I've been doing this method for over a year, and this has been this has been my main money make making method for over a year now. So it's an open secret. I don't know why a lot of players still are not doing it. But, hmm. If your location is right, it might improve saying. Rare cases, yep. Yeah. If the VPN service has really good node in your location with a T1 link, the route to the destination server might be faster. Ooh. But it's very rare though, right? So I don't think VPN is the solution. Did you craft without focus? Yeah, I don't use my focus in any of my money-making methods. Well, I do sometimes, just so, just so um, I don't actually max them out at 30. I just use them for something else. But most of the time, all of my resource refining and crafting, zero focus. It's me showing you guys that you don't really need focus. You don't really need high specs to make a lot of silver in Albion Online. Absolutely not. That's a myth. Or just a mis misconception that... You need to lose a lot of money first, get your um, refining or crafting to tier 8 before you get uh, a lot of profit. Total BS. That's a misconception. You don't really need to get that. Uh, to do that. How do you check ping? Uh, just type in x slash ping. Slash ping on your... On your text chat, let me show you again. Slash ping. Oh, we'll take away my ping. Slash ping. We'll bring it back again.
Are 7.1 pork pies worth it for bear transports? Absolutely not. Stick with 7. Stick with the flat ones. It's absolutely not worth Oh shoot. What did I do? It's absolutely not worth it. Just stick with uh, the unenchanted pork pies. Hmm. And thanks for answering these questions, Bear. Appreciate it. I'm still behind, but uh, I should get get back on track after this. How do you get rich? Uh, resource refining, buddy. Low tier resource refining. That's my secret. Check the description below. All right, let's pick a winner first, though. Uh, to the winner, you need you have two minutes. You have two minutes to enter your in-game name, or else we'll pick another winner. If you know, if you want to know how to enter the giveaway, type an exclamation point. How to? No spaces. Um, there are multiple winners every live stream, and there are there's a giveaway every live stream. Um, more prizes during Saturdays regularly. So make sure to join us every day. Let's pick a winner for the first giveaway of this live stream. Daniel MC, congratulations, buddy. You just want to spin wheel. Daniel, type in your in-game name and we'll spin the wheel for you. Let's start another time. Let's actually start, start a two minute timer for Daniel, but we'll have another giveaway after this. There you go. So, Bear just explained a bit more with the VPN. True VPN needs to redirect all the traffic to the VPN service. It can be one of those massive providers or private one owned by the companies. So you're basically connecting to the VPN server, right? And then they then will transmit that traffic to wherever you want it to be or whatever you're accessing, accessing in that case. But for transport to Carillion, I uh, use only Wild Boar. This weight load buff after this month from Gankers is too strong and you're not overweight when you're 100% like the others. That's true. So when you're using a stag, a horse, what else? Boars, Dire Boars, Spectral Dire Boars and all those mounts. When you get dismounted, you still get their carrying capacity with you, so you can move easy. You can move normally. For bears, though, for bears, I guess mammoths. If you get dismounted, you are going to be overweight. Similar to like for the ox. Moving on. Oh, zero G1. All right, zero G1. I almost forgot. All right, look at how Carl did it. Carl Alvarez, one of our sponsors. Look at how he did it. Giveaway space four. Exclamation point giveaway space the number of tickets you, you want to put in. And... Uh, Tickets cost 100 stones. Alright, let's spin the wheel for Mr. Daniel. Zero G1. Let's see how much you want, buddy. Oh, that was so close. I thought you were going to win 2 mil. But still, 400k is not bad. Live giveaway. Zero G1. Oh, Zero G1 was actually our last winner, too. It was the last winner too. Will Spectral Dire Boar be the monthly challenge reward soon? I want one, but they seem too expensive. I'm considering waiting for it to show up as a reward. So, Bear, you can actually see that. Go to activities right here. Go to adventure challenges. Go to this second tab, it says past challenges. 
I can actually see the past challenges right here. And I do believe that was November. Oh, no? October? Hmm? When was the Spectral Diabore then? February, January, no, that was Frostman. That's key. Oh, I guess it's soon. August? Undead? Okay, so July. So yeah, the Spectral Diabore is in July. So definitely don't buy any Spectral Diabores today. Because it is... It is at its peak. Spectral Diabores is at its is at its peak when it comes to um, the price. July, starting July, you will start to see the prices of Spectral Diabore go down, probably close to 1 mil. I want to say it will go down to 1 mil. So if you want to buy that, or if you just want to, you know, grind for it, it's not that difficult, go do that. I grow my own tier 4 and 5 mounts, so I don't have to buy them when I die. That's good too. That's good too. Abdul, hello! Welcome to the stream, buddy. And Erdem, thank you so much for subscribing. Yeah, thank you for answering that as well, Carl. Yeah, it's in July, so it's just a couple of several weeks and we'll have that challenge. And you can absolutely like get that right away. 600,000 coins or 600,000 keys are not actually that difficult to get, especially when you're doing like Avalonian dungeons. Maybe HCEs as well. You'll get that in a heartbeat. Yeah, wait for it. It was like the grizzly bear. The grizzly bear, I bought it for 898k. 898k, and I do believe that will... That will go up to 2 mil really soon. Zero food, yeah. I'm still buying stuff from Fed. Look at that. Look at my. <laughs> look, actually, look at my my mail right now. Zero 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 one. It's insane. That's how much I buy. Oh, next giveaway. I'm sorry. I did not start. I thought I started it. Let's go to Bridgewatch Island. When's the next giveaway? In 45 minutes. So there are multiple giveaways every live stream, boys. This only has 10% capacity, no. Alright, need, need some water. Give me one sec. I'll be back in a bit. I'll just, uh, I'll just get some water. I'll be back in two minutes to make sure to earn more stones by gambling. Check out the description below. And again, I'm using the GA Bridgewatch Island to refine all of my stones. And that's going to be the case as long as the usage fees in the cities continue to be high. I'll be back in two minutes.
Okay, we're back. We're back, boys. Hi, Kaja. I have a question about optimization. With the information available in the refining calculator, if we consider distance between cities and the time that and the time the travel takes, I think there might be an optimal route. Maybe profit might be less, but if we divide earnings invested versus time, earnings divide invested, uh, I think it will gradually take the option that option instead of greatest investment or greatest earning. So, okay, so okay, I, I see what you mean. I see what you mean, uh, Bear. Um, yes, so if you look at the resource refining calculator, it will show you where to buy the cheapest, right? Where to buy the cheapest and where to sell the, the highest. In some cases, the cheapest resource will come from two different cities. Let me know if this is what you're saying. In some cases, there will be times when the cheapest resources like tier 2, tier 3, tier 4 will come from two or three different sources. Very rare. And then you'll have to go to each of those cities to get all of those raw resources, transport them to where they will be refined, and then transport them again to where they are going to be sold. So is that what you're trying to say? Um, bear and if you buy the raw resources in like one city probably not the cheapest you will get less profit but in turn you will if you are closer to the city where you need to refine and where to sell you will get less silver but at the same time you will get your silver back faster and you will get to refine faster you get to supply the city faster and all that is that what you're trying to say because yes that is i would say better and in a way that's what i'm doing too what should i use to get mammoth as fast as possible what should i use um i'm think i'm assuming you're asking what method you should use i mean i'm partial to the tier 3 tier 4 resource you're finding uh, because you do get a lot of profit some of the cal some of the values in the calculator that we have right now shows like more than 100% still so I would re I recommend tier 3 and tier 4 resource refining watch the video in the description below so you know and you understand what I'm talking about it should say the best money making method let me actually confirm that If you look at the description, it says best money making method. Yeah. Should be right there. And that's what I'm doing now, actually. I have 45 mil worth of stuff here and just added one more mil to that and hopefully that will all get be that will all be transported to Carleon really soon all right that's what you mean imagine if the route was a magic recipe and you could buy it so you just wanted to find a city next to it and sell the original ah yeah you can actually do that um it will be difficult for me to actually show you the estimated value for that because that will just that will be a lot of just connections and i think that would be challenging in itself but yeah uh just think of the percentage profit as that's the best profit that you can get, right? If you don't buy it in the best cities, under the cheapest cities, just think that you will get less. But I still believe you will get a lot of uh, silver back, and even uh, if you just buy in the like, maybe 
neighboring cities, probably. MK, welcome to the stream, buddy. And Joe, thank you so much for subscribing. If you have any other any questions, let me know. I like answering your questions in the live stream because it's not only you benefiting from it. I actually get new knowledge and new ideas from all of your questions. So keep them coming. I'll answer them as um, the best the best uh, way I can and the fastest possible time that I can uh, answer your questions. Oh, it's not even. Oh, it's not, it's not even done. Uh, hmm. When I have a question, I started playing Albion about a week ago. Welcome to Albion. I wanted to focus on. I wanted to focus kinda on crafting for profit. I can do tier four mage items. Max budget is forty five k. What method? My, what method should I use? So, since you're new. I suggest, as most of my viewers would already have known, tier 3 blocks, buddy. Tier 3 blocks is, I think, my default recommendation to anyone who is trying to refine or craft for money for silver in this game. Because the demand for tier 3 blocks is always there. The price is always decent. The percentage profit is always good. And it's very easy to do. So tier 3 blocks, I have a video in the description below, it says best money making method. That's basically what the method, what I do on a daily basis. Just at, It's just that I do it at a larger scale. But if we do the same method at the same time, even if I have a mammoth and you have an ox, let's say, we'll get the same percentage profit. So it means if I do that method, I'll get probably 75% profit. And if you do that method on any mount, you'll get 75% profit as well. So again, best money making method linked in the description below. That's basically what I do. I've been doing that for a year. It's never gone old. It's been very, very profitable for me. Extremely profitable. And yeah. Especially since you only have 45k to invest. You can do that. On top of that though, solo dungeons. Solo dungeons is very, very underrated when it comes to generating silver. It doesn't just generate silver, it generates fame as well, which is uh, very good. Um, this, is, this is, I'm going to say something very controversial when it comes to uh, Bandit. So Bandit, is when you see this. The Faction Warfare Bandit Assault is currently underway. Activate Faction Flagging to participate. When you see this, this icon, when you open the maps, basically the maps, the map of the world. If you see this, before it says end in this timer, it will say starts in, all right? Bandit Assault is very, very profitable. Can be very, very profitable for new players. You might be called a rat because you basically won't contribute much when it comes to like the, the goal itself. But the points that you get from Bandit Assault is so high and the effort that you have to put in is so low that I think it is worth it to do it to do every single time, especially when you're starting. Again, you might be called a rat. You might be called um, something else, but it's very profitable. And all you have to do is land a single attack on the boss per um, per outpost. Just land one attack, and you will be qualified to get all of the points that they will get for that zone or for that outpost and if we do that for all of the zones or the posts in the zone you will get that points for that zone as well i might do a video on that but again the only drawback is you being called a rat 
but there's a lot of people doing it, a lot of players doing it, so... Plus it's really profitable. So I guess I don't really mind being called a rat if that's the case, right? It's really profitable, dude. Like, really, really profitable. It is in the red zone and you get to lose your items if you die, but if you bring... Uh, items that you don't mind losing? I think it's going to be worth it. The points that you're going to get, the faction points that you're going to get for that. It's really high. Unbelievably high for the effort that you are going to put in. How did the exams go? Um, it's good, man. I scored high 90s in most of them. I still have two more. Actually, yeah, I only have two more. Yeah, two more for the week. One tomorrow and one on Friday. But high 90s so far, so I'm satisfied. Joe, hello, hello. So yeah, 16-bit, hopefully that answered your question. Hopefully you follow that quest, you follow that advice and get back to me. If you have questions about my money-making methods, leave them in the comments of the video or send me a Discord message. Just let me know what you're referring to when you ask the question and I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. For example, imagine there was this material that you could buy for cheap in Limhurst and then the neighbor city bridge watch could refine that and sell them back to Limhurst. Yeah. Um that's also the reason why I want you to check the prices in all of the cities. And that's also the reason why if you look at the calculator better, if you actually look at the calculator, the the color fills are actually gradient right it's actually gradient and that sh sort of shows you that well of course the dark green is the cheapest and you should buy there but if you see that the that the neighboring um, cell is also green it just means that the price difference is not that high it's not high enough that you can actually buy them on that neighboring city if it if that brings you closer to where you are going to find them. I'm not sure if I explained that, but that's the reason why it's gradient. It has a gradient of some sort. Uh God MP, hi, welcome to the stream. Is tier five is, the, is having tier 5 personal island profitable? Um, well, yeah. It is. Personal islands, yeah. You can plant crops. You can grow animals. You can have your laborers there. I mean, it doesn't need to be like the max personal island. Tier 1 can be profitable. Of course, tier 2 is more profitable, but again, even starting at tier 1, you can still generate a bit of profit to actually help you upgrade your islands in the future. I'll give it a try, selecting lower percentage profit materials but with lower travel uh, time. Alright, go do it man, go do it. Um, What I would recommend Bear is like, again, look at those gradients and see, okay, if I'm going to buy hides in Limhurst because they are the cheapest. What is the price compared to say Bridgewatch? Right? Like what's the price compared to Bridgewatch? Is it the same? Is it higher? Is it just two silver in terms of like their price difference? Right? So check those. If it's just two silver and we're talking about tier three, it won't really make a lot of difference when it comes to like the overall percentage profit. But if the profit if the silver difference is like ten, 
Now you gotta take think about that. But if it's only like two, three, four silver, yeah, I would go. I would go for the shorter path rather than the highest percentage profit. Yeah, I absolutely get that bear, and it's 100% uh, true. When you say block, you mean like the blocks for building, right? Yes, 16 bit, yes. Oh shoot, I'm so far away from the comments, dudes. I'm so sorry. Yes, uh, 16 bit, I'm talking about stone blocks. I'm so sorry about this. When did this happen? When I have a question, I have 1 million, but I don't know what to invest it in. God MP, same answer as, um, same answer to 16 bit. Watch the video in the description below. If you only have one mil, even I, I have more than a hundred mil, and I still do tier three, tier four resource refining. If you have one mil, it's very low risk. You can, you will never go to the red zone with the. Tier 3, Tier 4 resource refining, you can still get a lot of profit. You can easily double that 1 mil. Probably in just 2 days, 3 days. Depending on how much you can carry, of course, but... I believe you can double that in like... Less than a week. I would say less than a week you can double that with Tier, tier 3, Tier 4 resource refining. Again, video is in the description below. It says best... It should say best money making method. Do you, need, do you need, what, do you have a lot of knowledge about material markets with, uh, wait, do you have a lot of knowledge about markets with that for profit method? What? Uh, Gabrielle, can you say that again? Do you have, do you need have a lot of knowledge about markets with that profit method? I don't understand the question. If you can rephrase that, that'd be great. Uh, once again, Gabriel Ma Wen. Uh, if you can rephrase that question, I could probably answer that a lot better. And listen, Bridge Watch Faction always fast, always first in Bandit. Yeah. Bridge Watch takes it seriously, dude. Haha. <laughs> It is controversial. I'm one of those guys who tries hard to push for my faction. Yeah. Yeah, Bridge Watch in this case is like very serious when it comes to Bandit. But yeah, if you bring like a wild staff, bring a wild staff to the Bandit and you will get all of the faction points in the world. Yeah, if you feel like um, I've missed your quest, I missed your questions. Uh, feel free to type them again. I am late though. Okay, I will try. I'm a long player, but I'm poor. Okay, I have good mouse to carry stuff. Yeah, I'm perfect. That is perfect, dude. I can guarantee. It is so difficult to mess up my my money making method. So difficult, man. It can be really, really difficult. You would, you would need to try so freaking hard to actually lose money using my money making method. You have to try. You have to mess up every single step for you to actually lose silver with my money making method. I wouldn't say it's foolproof, but. If you use your noggin just a little, just a smidge, just a smidge, you will get a lot of silver with my money making method. Especially with, you know, the, the, um, the players that have access to the calculator, all they have to do is like type in like the prices for raw resources and refined resources and boom, they know what to refine for that specific session, what um, 
what resource will give them the highest percentage profit, where to buy the resources. Of course, they know they already know where to refine it and where to sell to get that percentage profit. It's very easy. All right, 22 minutes and we'll pick the winner. Ooh. I'm still buying stuff, dude. Now it's worth turning. Uh, FO7. Thank you so much for subscribing to 16 bit, 16 bit as well. More questions, guys. More questions. Let me know. And there's also a giveaway, boys. Hopefully, you're enjoying the giveaway. Hello there. <laughs> Say hi to Miss Burnstone, everyone. That should only take me. That should only take me a couple of minutes, of a couple of hours, though. Okay. I'm thinking if I want to extend the stream after this giveaway. Huh. I don't want to say one that. I'm going to want to see Oh no, I'm going to see it. Sit the ate. Oh no, I'm going to be willing. 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 I'm going to be about this uh -huh. I was worried about this I was worried about the food it only has 4% left I don't particularly like to refine the city right now I'll just refine whatever I can refine and just tag him that the food is the food is out. I'm still buying stuff. How much? Thirty thousand food. Food. That means I can technically do thirty-five stacks or thirty stacks of year three. Uh, this is more than thirty stacks. I'll just I'll just refine whatever I can refine. 
I just move on after that. Just let the Zekrix know that. <clears throat> yeah. We'll do what we can today. Not really necessarily. I don't necessarily need to refine everything. I would rather wait for the lower usage fee than force anything because I do have a lot of things to transfer to Galia and still. So I'll wait, I'll wait. See, hopefully you're enjoying the gambling. And make sure to join the giveaway, boys. Make sure to join the giveaway, right? Now there's only like... There's only two players with 100 tickets. Hmm. I don't see, uh, oh, well, it's, it's a different time, but I don't see McGamers Pro and uh, Grimson Reaper. I think I have nerfed, I have balanced the gank command so well that <laughs> I can't use the gank and bag command anymore. But they have won a lot though, they have won a lot of silver in this, uh, in this live stream. Okay, so let's see if I can estimate two, four, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, eleven, one fifty, eleven. So I will bring this down to about about ten thousand left. So that means I can only craft 5,000 tier 4s. Hmm. Unknown recipes, what's up? And God MP, Spray Blue, and Doug Han. Also, congratulations. You have officially. You are officially now new stoners. That means one hour of watch time. Oh, let me actually answer this. I already have a customer. I currently have an HO level 3 in an Apple on your own. I wanted to know if I could use it to generate money too. Like putting houses or jobs. Yes. Make sure to gather in three words. You can also take advantage. Okay. Any more questions, boys? Give me some tips for silver farming. Uh, Krish, same answer. There's a video in the description that says best money making method. Watch that. Guaranteed profits. Guaranteed profits. What's up, unknown recipes? It's basically tier low tier resource refining, Krish. Low tier resource refining. Christian Gutierrez, what's up, what's up? Franz, hello buddy, how are you doing today? How are you doing, friends? Glad to have you on the stream. I wish Z Crix would actually Actually, um, you know what? Alright, just informed 
the island owner that well, the food in the pots are actually really low. Doing pretty good in the middle of exam week, but not stressing about it. Uh, I'm excited for no classes next week though. No classes next week. I hope you guys are... Ooh, I'm so excited. Guys, okay. Let me do this now. Let me do this now. Have you guys heard of the app called Kahoot? Have you guys... Heard Kahoot Lurk. Let me register now, actually. Oh, I am so excited. I just got excited. Give me one sec. Username. Uh, let's say continue with Google. <laughs> how much? How many? What is the name of YouTube channel for Birdstone TV? Yes. Give me one sec, guys. Done. Oh, correct answer not chosen. Title Kahoot Sample Quiz Validating Kahoot Test Kahoot Play Now For Homeschooling Future Oops. Uh, Player Player Ah, okay. Okay, let's try this. I just want to give this a shot. Okay. How do I start? Okay. Alright, let me look at your questions real quick. But we'll, we are going to try something new here. You buy everything in the marketplace when low price, when it's low price. A Christian, not really. I buy at the lowest price possible for the entire market. So what I do is go around the market and see where the lowest price is and buy that. So I don't really have a specific price that if I say, oh, okay, so blocks or Rocks need to be this price. Prices in Albion Online always changes, so just try to buy as low as you can, but also consider the market's uh, status. So let's go around the market, look for the prices of the lowest, but lowest uh, price of that, the same material, and just buy there. How much take you to complete buying orders? Um, I'm placing 20 to 30 million every three days. And I usually 
complete the buy orders within 24 hours. But for you, for someone like um, just probably under one mil, you can probably get that in less than an hour. Ooh, you got your uh, got my COVID vaccination Sunday. Let's go. We're we're trying to get it uh, next week too, or probably this week. Is tier two refining best for new players? Absolutely, freaking lutely. That's actually one of the videos that I'm uh, working on. Is uh, basically showing you guys and making you realize that tier two for new players is like really, really good. It's a godsend money making method. I'll explain that in detail in the near future. I'll have one week, one full week of no classes, and hopefully I can uh, create a video for that really soon. Do some corrupted dungeons. Uh, Chris, you are in the wrong live stream if you are expecting corrupted dungeon content. There's a lot of um, Twitch though, Twitch live streamers doing corrupted dungeons, so. Head over to Twitch. There's a lot of players out there that are playing Corrupted Dungeons. I'm not one of them. I'm not really good at Corrupted Dungeons, but I don't really mind. Okay, so let me show you something real quick. All right, go to kahoot.it. All right, I'll place it in the chat. Join kahoot.it, and hopefully you guys participate in this test run. I'll place it in the chat, kahoot.it. I do believe you can download an app, but I suggest you just go to kahoot.it, enter this pin right here, and enter your name. <clears throat> How do I get access to the calculator? The link doesn't work. Uh, Lord is Kipuius. Uh, the calculator is exclusive to my YouTube members and YouTube sponsors for now. But you can try to earn 1 million stones in in the live stream and you'll get one month access to that as well. So either become a member to get access or you can earn 1 million stones in the live chat and you get access to that as well. Big true. So good money with tier 2 resources for gathering fast and good refine after buy orders. That is true too. So. Guys, once again, hopefully you try and participate in this. Um, the official, the official um, game will be probably on Saturday next week, and that will be for a premium. No one, no one wants to join. Come on. Go to Kahoot. There you go, Lucky Sloth. Kahoot. It. It's a website. Go to this website. Enter this pin. Enter your enter your uh, name. Oh, that's it. That's it. There you go. Quiz. So you answer, whoever, whoever joined, answer, and uh, okay, one answer. This is just a sample quiz. Boom! Hey, did you get it right? Hey, you got it right. Dun -dun -dun -dun, you got 807 points. Okay. So basically that's how it will go, that's basically how it will go, what is going on? What? Why did it restart? I didn't want it to restart, there's only one question, there's only one question so 
Okay, so that's basically how the game will go. I will add more questions to it. And the winner, probably on Saturday, will get one month premium. Just one month premium. I'll give you guys, the winner will get one month premium. On Saturday, there will be more questions, of course. There will be more questions. It will be, it will revolve around, um, it will revolve around, oh, actually, somebody did not get it. End game. So, it will revolve around basically the game. Some, most likely for money, around money making methods. Like, for example, I'll ask about what is the resource return rate for leather in an island based on Limhurst? And I'll have, we'll have that, uh, we'll have that four possible answers. Only one will be the right one. And then, whoever is going to be the winner will probably have like 20 questions. Whoever is the winner will win one month premium. I just want to make this very interesting, very entertaining. I know someone already did, um, what was that? Jeopardy? Jeopardy, I think Placid Baron did that. Um, who else? Who wants to be a millionaire? They already done that. I think we'll do Kahoot. We'll do Kahoot. I like their scoring system actually. So that's just that's just um that's just a taste of what is going to happen next Saturday. We'll probably have a trial run this Saturday too. At a lower price of course, probably just like two mil or whatever. But it's going to be a trial run. I'll create more, of course. I'll create more um, questions revolving around money making. Probably skills of items. Probably names of maps. I don't know. But it will be Albion based and Burnstone TV gaming based. So hopefully you guys are excited. I truly am excited. I probably will create the questions right after the stream. But, speaking of giveaway, what's the game pin? Didn't get that. Uh, it's over, Daniel. Um, it's just a trial run. Make sure to join this Saturday. Hint, hint. I'll probably start giving away silver for the Kahoot. Uh, but yeah, I think it's fun. I think it's really fun. Okay, so, well, let's pick a winner, shall we? Next winner is... Philemon Tegai. Philemon Tegai. Congratulations, you just won a spin wheel. I haven't seen you in a bit, but type in your in game name and. Um, yeah, type in your in game name and uh, we'll spin the wheel for you. Hopefully, you guys are excited for that. I truly am excited for that. What do you think? Uh, what do you prefer? Tinker Labor or Blacksmith? Depends. It depends. Um, what tier? What city are you in? What city are you in? I think that's um, important. If you're in the outside cities, well, it doesn't really matter, right? But Tinker, you should do it in Caroleon. If you have an island in Caroleon, I think Tinker would be best. Yeah, I think Tinker would be best. <laughs> but yeah, that's the game. The Kahoot. So, um, that's a very broad question, Avex. Like, do you plan to craft blacksmith uh, items or tinker items what do you actually want to spec up 
if you're in Carleon, I would go with Tinker. If you're if um, other other zones or other maps, other cities, I would go for Blacksmith. Country names? Probably not today, uh, Scipius. Probably not today. But I'll try to do it on Saturday. And I'm more than willing to give a lot of silver. I have 160 mil right now. As you may or may not know, um, I don't really have any other goals in this game. Right now, my goal is to give away 1 billion silver overall. Uh, we're at 260 million so far. Not bad, not bad. But it's just that's just 26%. So the goal still is to give away 1 billion silver overall. Uh, it's via... Um, via videos, live streams, um, what else? Oh, the scavenger hunt via Kahoot. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I think I have one more in me. I think I have one more in me. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We won't activate the next giveaway timer, but we'll go to the next city. We will refine everything that we can uh, possibly refine. And after that, we'll pick a winner. Sounds good. Oh wait, wait up. No, Philemon Tagai is not here, so let's pick another winner. Let's pick another winner, boys. It was not here. Okay, Sachin Singh. Congratulations, you just won. You have two minutes. You have two minutes. Type in your in-game name, Sachin Singh. You just won a spin wheel. I think I'll go with all of this. I think I love a lot of things. Not sure, but get them anyways. Oh, okay. Didn't even, didn't have, didn't even have to choose. Jeez. Is Sachin Singh here? Buddy, you have to, okay, no merit. Give me one sec, boys. Give me one sec. I'll be back in a bit. Alright, no merit. No merit 014. Alright, spin the wheel for you, buddy. No merit. Spin the wheel. Let's see how much you won. 600k, no mert. Congratulations. Um, okay, so since you are new here, me being like, probably, I'll give you a location app in a while. I'll give you a location after a while, in a bit, just in a bit, and meet me in that city, and um, I'll give you your price, okay? Congratulations, 600k! And I continue to buy stuff from the marketplace. So this is how fast, actually, the, the like the buying. The buy orders really, really fast. Okay, so I think the giveaway is still open. There's still going to be one giveaway, okay? One more giveaway. 
and we'll do that giveaway. We'll pick a winner for that. After we refine everything that I have right now in the city, and uh, that's that. Oh, I need to create that video. Desperately need to create that video. Alright, so make sure to review a couple of things. I guess you don't have to review, but be aware of certain numbers in the game. Alright, be aware of certain numbers in the game for the Kahoot quiz. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys win. I'll probably give consolation prizes for like first, second, and third. Or second and third, I mean. First we'll win a grand prize. And the winning... Like, okay. So, I do believe every question can get you maximum of 1,000 points in the Kahoot. Right? 1,000 points. If you take your time and answer... Uh, if you're taking your time to answer the question, it will slowly... Um, subtract certain number of points. Even if you get the exact an if you get the answer, it doesn't actually give you one thousand points, but it's based on how fast you click the right answer. So, with that being said, I think the percentage will be will um, the overall points will play a part. And how much percentage of that overall price or that grand price you will actually get. It's a bit complicated, but I'll give you guys some uh, leeway. Yeah, dude, Philemon, welcome back. Yeah, you won earlier, buddy. You won earlier, but you weren't here. Big rip. But the Kahoot, I'll probably, I'll create an announcement. I'll announce the Kahoot later, after the stream. After the stream, I need to give access to to one win, to one person or a new sponsor, and then I'll create an announcement for the Kahoot. We need to go to the groceries. Uh, what else? Need to go to the groceries. I need to review, so there are a lot of things that I need to do after uh, before I uh, before I go to sleep. Oh, uh, Philemon, you basically missed your chance to spin the wheel, buddy. Yeah, unfortunately, you weren't here. You didn't make it for the like two minute warning. But there's still going to be one more giveaway. It'll be very soon, very very soon, right after we reach the next city all right right after we reach the next city we'll refine everything and then we'll pick a winner sounds good or does it sound good those are your those are your options I'm excited. I'm truly excited about the one Kahoot. month left to new gold sponsor icon. Yay! Hey, Red Melly, what's up, buddy? Oh, is it? Are you going to gold sponsor after one month? Doyum, what is gold sponsor? I think gold sponsor should be six months. I wish there was a way for me to like create 
a command for like as you say gold sponsors and all that there isn't unfortunately so I'm still buying stuff in Bridgewatch, Limhurst, Fort Sterling I think I'm done with that I'll be surprised if I'm done I'm done with that oh yeah it's six months look at that I appreciate you supporting Burnstone TV Gaming, Red. Hey, Gamercell, what's up, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being a sponsor as well. Yeah, we're in the last leg, last uh, few minutes of the stream. But there is still going to be one winner before we leave. Saint Avantgarde. I like their name. Saint Avantgarde. And let me know, man. Let me know about the service of the GA Islands. Once again, the usage fees in all of the cities and resource refining plots is way too high, even if you have if even if you are an associate. In my opinion, it's way too high, so I'm launching a project. I actually launched the project several days, uh, several days back, where you get access to guild islands that has refining plots to tier six for a low usage fee of ten percent. Of course, the best option, in my opinion, the best option is for you to have a plot in your island that you feed because you will it'll be less the usage fee will be less for you because you can set it at zero basically not paying anything but you're paying just for food and food can be bought in the marketplace directly or maybe try to look for cheaper options around the market but you are definitely going to pay a lot less if you're going to do it in your island with the plot that you created or you built, right? And the only issue there is if you want to have, if you want to cover all of the islands, you have to build a lot of guild islands. You have to pay for those. So the initial cost is really high in my opinion. So if you have a personal island, if you have a guild island, different cities probably, you have already covered two out of three. And you can request for the other, or two out of five. You can request for the other three using the GA islands. Okay? So make sure to join the Discord, Discord in the description below. Request to become, an, to become or request to get access to the GA refining islands. Make sure to tag Zcrix and uh, yeah, we'll give you access to that. Save on usage fees, boys. And to help you visualize that, to give you a visual confirmation that you are actually saving a lot when it comes to refining in guild islands, I will up I will upload or actually I will update the resource refining calculator to incorporate the usage fees and the calculate the estimated percentage profit when you are crafting in or refining in your island or in the city so we'll have a visual confirmation of that and that will be available july 1st how long have you been playing i've been playing for over a year now i uh, started april last year so a year and two months, a year and two months. Yeah, use your sponsor command. I have my own stone refining on my personal island. Should I use it? Absolutely. As long as your stone refining is based on bridge watch, okay? I need to be. Oh yeah, the giveaway. Make sure to join the giveaway, boys. Yeah, 
where am I going? Uh, Fort Sterling. Okay, so... Sachin, go to Fort Sterling right now. I'll get some water real quick. Go to Fort Sterling. It's overcrowded. Uh, meet me west side of the bank and west side of the bank. I'll be there in two minutes and uh, we'll give you your winnings, okay? I'll be back in a couple of minutes, boys. Okay, we're back, boys. <clears throat> what was the name again? No Mert. I don't see you, buddy. Uh, no Mert, go to the west side of the bank. West side of the bank, buddy. I'm right here. Uh, and to whoever wants to claim their price, go to the west side of the... Okay, there you go. I see you. Hey, hopefully this money... Hopefully this silver helps you. That's 600k for you, buddy. There you go. Congratulations, no Mert. I think this is your first time, right? First time on the stream and you actually won right away. Congratulations. Hopefully you put that silver into good use. Use that for... Hopefully your uh, first... Hopefully you use that for your first um, investment into resource refining. It's actually a lot of silver for a new player 600k. Hopefully you can uh, double that. Bye you. Yeah. Oh, Tib. Oh, Tib. Welcome to the stream. Um, I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're enjoying your stones. And again, I do this every time, guys. Every time you see me live, there is going to be a giveaway. Every single time. Yeah, all to all our sponsors, look at France. L use those uh, custom emotes. Without a mammoth, which mount do you recommend to carry? I cur I'm currently using Grizzly Bear in 8.3 bag. Elite Winter Bear is a step up compared to a Grizzly Bear. Not really that much, but I would say invest in a grizzly bear or like an elite winter bear. I mean, invest in an elite winter bear. I think it's worth it. How did you get up to 150 mil? Uh, resource refining, buddy. It's it's an open secret. Since you are a sponsor, you have access to that. You have access to the resource refining calculator. I highly suggest you use it frequently. To know what resource gives you the most profit for that session it's all resource refining tier 3 and tier 4 that's it that's basically what I do and of course I would have had I would have 
a lot more if I'm not doing this giveaway because I've already given away over 260 million silver but hey who needs who really needs 1 billion in this game maybe the plot owners the plot owners probably need 1 billion but I don't I would rather I would rather help someone get their first premium rather than have that 9 mil in my in my silver silver bank account not doing anything but I'm not, I don't want to give it away just to random people because I have given 8.9 million I believe or over 9 million to one player only to see him quit the game a week later it's not really worth it I feel so bad for giving that player one month worth of premium just to see them quit one week later Ugh. so I want to give the silver to those who are watching the stream of course because if you're watching the stream for the longest time that probably means you have invested some time in the game and you are dedicated to playing the game so that will make me feel better when it comes to like alright I'm giving this guy over 10 mil and since the chance of um, them getting that is, is I wouldn't say low but they would need to watch the stream for a long time that means they would need to play the game for a long time to actually have invested their time into the game and that would make me feel better because I know that maybe that 10 million will be put in good use rather than giving it away in a random video it's like their first giveaway the dude quit after a week didn't feel I didn't feel good after that I did I have 20, 20 million worth of buy orders let's go same dude same I have 20 mil fraud dip no more food no more food that sucks okay if this actually continues I'll give them a week I'll give them a week because it can be difficult to transport stuff transport food from one city to another to feed the laborers I'll probably give them a week if this continues though I will need to create my own islands and probably transfer you guys to those islands because I'll have more control over it and I can pretty much quite easily create all of my islands like that um, I think I'll start later just as a backup plan I don't want to take away I don't want to take this business away from them though but we need consistent we need consistency <clears throat> I invested 130k after studying the market says Irfan yeah go do it dude I get I get excited when new players invest 100k they invest 200k and they get back like say 75% profit 80% profit I, 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 get, I get excited because it brings me back to those to the moments where I was the one investing just 100k, just 200k. Grim bosses have been playing for over a year now. Same dude, same. A year and two months. 130k from that 130k, I got profit about 70k. Wow, you got profit 70k profit. That's really good, dude. That's over over 50% profit. Good job. Is there a new calculator for finding? I've been speedrunning dungeons and I've enough money to invest. Is there a new calculator for finding? Um, it's the same calculator, but I have tweaked it to give you guys more value. 
So my sponsors have access to that calculator. YouTube members and sponsors. And I will be updating it. Huge update, I would say. Huge update uh, on July 1st. Do you need food to refine tier 3? Yes. Unfortunately, Philemon, they have figured out that in the past, tier 3 doesn't really use food. But now, they have patched that. And yeah, you need, you need food for tier 3. Bro, I can do the transfer job. If you give me silver, <laughs> I can do it. I love transporting stuff. You can build on my island. See, I don't. I will not have full control if I build on other, other players' islands. And I, I want have. I want to have full control, like full control of whatever is happening in that in that island. I'm saving to buy another mammoth to double the item I can carry. <laughs> Go for it, buddy. How do you do without mammoth transfer? It isn't worth with other mounts. Mm, not really. It is worth it. I mean, I started with the tier 5 ox. And now I have a mammoth. Gr Elite winter bear. It's worth it. Grizzly bear. Tier 8 ox. Whatever transport mount you can get. My methods are based on percentage profit. Which means if we do the method together, we'll get the same percentage profit. So everyone needs to start somewhere, right? I started with a tier 5 ox. Now I have a mammoth. So you just have to start somewhere. And it's so worth it, dude. Hey, VG Plays, what's up, buddy? Burn, thank you. I won 10 mil to buy the Battle Beetle for my collection. Let's go! Beetle? Beetle is one of the best battle mounts in the game in my opinion. Next to the Command Mammoth of course. But the Beetle can be really dominant in the, in the battle, in the battlefield. Like appoint an employee for your transporter? Mmm, I don't know man. I mean I enjoy, I enjoy the transport part. I really do. So it's like some it's like saying man you have money you should definitely hire a driver but if you like if you like driving you probably won't hire a driver right again i enjoyed transporting stuff back and forth for some people they don't and i completely understand that but i just love it i don't know why it's the prospect of getting more silver. It's the prospect of progressing through your goal. It's the thought that after I, di I do this, I will get more silver. I will have um, progressed in some sort. Alright, I'll wait for a day probably, but I'll start building the islands right now. Can anyone confirm or answer like, how much silver do I need for an island? I can be the passenger then. All right, I guess that's it. We don't have enough food supply. I mean, I don't want to feed this because that just doubles what I'm paying. I'm paying 5%. I do have that discount for advertising the GA Islands. But if I feed it and still pay 5%, that's just way too much. I'm still saving, not gonna lie, I'm still saving, but saving's not that much anymore. It wouldn't be worth it. <clears throat> I think about 100k for Guild Islands. Just 100k? Are you kidding me? Is that it? 100k?
Not much then. You know, I'll start. I'll start after the stream. Right after the stream, we'll start. I'll start building my own. I thought it would cost me like a mil or two. Hmm, interesting. I may transfer everything to my own island then. Person island is 20k. 100k for a guild island? That's all you- I only need level 1. I only need the level 1 and that's it. The building itself is what will cost you some. I don't really mind. I can get it- I can get it up to like tier 6. That shouldn't- That shouldn't burn a hole in my pocket. Just tier 6. Tier 6 refining. Tier 6. Really? It's not that much then. Hmm. Not much. Yo, that got me excited. Oh, give me one sec. Sorry about that delay. Sorry about that. Just had to look at something. Interesting. Okay, so I can craft probably 44... Um, are tier 6 journals with 112 return rate better than tier 5 150? Yes. So tier 6 112 is better than that. Yep. Tier 6 112 is better than tier 5 150. There's a big jump when it comes to like the the resources that you get back from tier 5 to tier 6. Huge jump to tier 6. I invested 8 mil in making t 4 guild islands for laborers. Just 8 mil? Wow! So Santiago, I'll go with um, tier 6 journals. Huh. All right, I'll start on that project right away, buddies. Boys, thank you so much for your help. I honestly thought it would cost me like millions just for a level one. Uh, yeah, I'll start working on that right away. Yo, my screen is glitching. The next goal for this channel is to buy a green screen. <laughs> The next goal for this channel is to literally just buy a green screen that covers this. <clears throat> I'm using an NVIDIA broadcast right now. It's actually, it's very good. Like, look at this. I have stuff in the background, like a lot of stuff in the background. But if I just stay right here, it actually works really well to sort of like take out some of the stuff behind me. And it's all software too. <clears throat> I call it AI. Alright, I'll sink... I'll sink 20 mil into 5 guild islands tonight. And probably one mil each for the food too. And I'll probably open it to you guys if this doesn't pan out. Because I don't want you guys to go to an island expecting to save, expecting to refine, and going there and uh, seeing that there is zero food supply. I want to give you guys a service that is flawless, no friction, and will save you a lot of silver. Is there a safe way to carry on for new players? Absolutely not. <laughs> There's absolutely no safe way for anyone going to carry on. Always bring scouts. Always bring scouts with you.
there are safe routes, but you will need still need to go through the red zone, and that's not it's not really safe per se. Ooh, wait up! Ooh, wait up! Ooh! I think I made a wrong calculation. Ritual stacks is crazy high. Yeah, it's crazy high for everyone, dude. For every city. I think I made a an error in terms of calculation here. Okay, okay, I'll need to fix that too. Mm. Okay. Okay, so we'll pick a winner. We'll wait for two minutes. I'll actually pick a winner now. Let's pick a winner. Boom, Red Melly won. Red Melly will spin the wheel for you, but you you will get um you will get stones for that. But let's pick another winner. One more winner. Klon, Klon or Keon? But Klon, thank you so. Uh, you just won Klon. 600k for Red Melly. Congratulations, buddy. Let's give Red Melly. 600k for Carleon just study the player chart uh, player chart 2 in Albion Online 2D they have a PvP player count that's what he's referring to yeah you can do that as well you can try to maybe go to Carleon at different times and see when there are when there are uh, hostiles, what time they actually go there. Because they do have a pattern too. Like, they have set times. Is the winner here? Um, Klon, type in your in-game name, you have two minutes. I don't think he's here. Huh. Alright. Invested 130k, dude. That's that's more than enough for a new player. More than enough. Let me just get these. Albion Online Project is no longer working. You are aware of what's wrong? Um, not really aware of what's happening with that API, but it's not really working well. So I would suggest just manually looking at market prices strip naked no gears no mounts use a travel planner and yeah just go right let's look for the prices all right so i don't think the winner is here Claude is not here let's pick another winner avex or avex avex congratulations you won We'll give you a couple of minutes to uh, type in your in-game name. Once again, Avex. Congratulations, you won, buddy. Type in your in-game name, please. Dude, I got excited for that. I got excited when you said it's just 100k for guilds. That's not much. That really isn't much. There you go, type in your in-game name, Avex. And we'll spin the wheel. How much time would you say it takes to get Elder Adventure from crafting and refining? Oh, it takes a lot of time. Not actually time. It takes a lot of silver. A lot of silver, dude. I wouldn't worry much about like the time it takes or the silver it takes because when you get to that level you don't really need to worry about that anymore you just need to worry about getting there and slowly but surely progressing towards that goal of getting that tier 8 being able to craft or refine tier 8 so just slowly but surely get there craft every day refine every day just a bit a bit more day by day 
<laughs> Look at your IGN. Uh, tongue in a mocha. <laughs> tongue in a mocha. <laughs> so you're Philippine Filipino, Avex, hundred percent. But your name sounds really familiar. Six hundred K, buddy. Congratulations. Your name, your name uh, looks familiar. Are you part of? Are you part of Oblivion as well? Or not? No, but oh yeah, you're part of it. <laughs> Avex is my guildmate, dude. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Congratulations, Avex. Are you a newbie? What does? What is your? Oh, you're a newbie. Yeah. Congratulations, Avex. I didn't know you were my guildmate. All right, congratulations, buddy. Uh, just a couple of reminders. We'll end the stream after I get all of these. Just a quick reminder, there will be a Kahoot this Saturday. There will be a price for that as well. Um, new video on Friday. Uh, if you have access to the calculator, make sure to uh, click that join button next to the subscribe button. All oh, there, here's Tom. All right, let's give him the 600k. Was that 600k? Was that 600k? Let's say 600k. <coughs> Congratulations, buddy. 600k. Oh, trade canceled. What, buddy? 600k to tongue? Congratulations, bud! Yeah, it is 600k. So in this live stream alone, we gave away 1.4 million silver. And you too can be one of the lucky winners. <clears throat> Just make sure to watch the live stream regularly. Um, you do get silver or you do get stones. Just by watching, which is uh, which is the real money making method. <laughs> That's the real money making method because you're just watching, you're getting new information, you're getting your answers, uh, you're getting your questions answered, and on top of that, you have a chance to win more silver. So, yeah, congratulations to all our winners. Can you players join your guild? Um, we require 20 million PVE, so if you go to stats, fate for, killing play, uh, fate for killing mobs needs to be 20 million. And I know Glitch is working towards that goal because he wants to join the guild as well. But yeah, so 20 million fame, join our guild, link is in, link is in the description. Um, you can probably join the Discord now and try to apply. Some of our recruitment officers will tell you the requirements. If they see potential in you, hey, you'll probably get right in even without hitting the the requirements. But yeah, try your luck, and that'll be it. All right, boys. Okay, so. That is it for today's live stream, boys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I really appreciate it when you guys come to the stream, right? And hang out, ask your questions, engage in the chat. I really do enjoy these kinds of conversations. And I enjoy giving away silver as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll probably be here tomorrow. Only you know what? I'll be here tomorrow. Guaranteed. I'll live stream tomorrow. I don't know what time. Make sure to type it. Make sure to uh, join the Discord if you want to get notified. Get that Albion tag. Subscribe. Click that notification bell so you won't miss any of the videos and live streams. <laughs> and that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. Congratulations for congratulations to those who won silver today. And uh, thank you to Bilbo for being one of our latest sponsors. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, boys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this live stream. But until then, 
This has been Bernard from Burnstone TV Gaming saying do something you love every single day. See you guys in the next one. Peace. You say it's all my fault, I walked away from it all